What is up guys, Sawchasm here, and today I have a dual com with a buddy of mine. In case you guys didn't know, I joined the YouTube team of Team Fear, which is actually a competitive Call of Duty team, and I have with me one of the members from Team Fear, Fear Sharp, so why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself. Alright, what up, people of Sawchasm channel? You guys probably don't know who I am because I'm post-competitive, and, and Saw... Kazan posts his uh, pub match gameplay, but you know we're trying to kind of meet in the middle here, and we're gonna do a little, little series where he kind of mixes competitive on his channel. And you want to kind of explain, you know, what we're gonna be doing? Yeah. So basically, this is the idea so far. You know, I'm sure we're gonna tweak it a little bit to make it as entertaining as possible. But basically, what the series is gonna be, we're gonna take high level league play matches, and we are gonna shout cast them like they do in the you know events and such and you know hopefully we can learn a little bit from it the point is that we can like sharp said we can meet in the middle with the pubs and the competitive thing and you know kind of find a good middle ground between the two and you know i really feel that even as a public player such as myself like i watch these fear guys stream all the time and i learn so much from it like i was watching you play the other day well actually last night i was watching you play and it was just some scrims or whatever, and you were playing on the map Raid, right? And like Raid. right right in the middle of the map, there's like that statue, and yeah. someone jumped on it. I don't know who it was exactly, but like I didn't even know. Like I didn't even know you could get on that. I didn't even know you could interact with that object. Like, Alright, I know what you're talking about. Like that, that red thing in the middle of the circle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Yeah, so like my point is like, even though I look for spots and stuff like that you guys are just on a whole nother level in terms of like map knowledge already and the game's only been out like a couple of weeks so there's really a lot to be learned even if you're not a huge competitive fan so that's basically you know the point of this series that we're starting to do so anyway so yeah basically i'm gonna let sarcasm just do all the shout casting because i'm straight cheeks mcgee at that but you know like you said i know all the nerdy stuff like getting on top of fountains and i can i can i can, <laughs> I can give tips like that alongside his shout casting and Hopefully he, we can. He knows. He got. Stuff. He got the inside scoop. Like, don't don't let him fool you. He sounds. He sounds like he's uh. He's trying to be a little modest, but he knows his stuff, man. He's like. My own strategy guy. Yeah, you're you're one of like the few competitive players that actually make like useful tip Call of Duty videos on YouTube right now, in my opinion, or one of the most more useful. So yeah, I think it's it'll be a good fit. But uh, let's talk a little bit about competitive in Black Ops 2 in general and this whole league play shenanigans. So what do you think of league play so far? Uh, well, a lot of people probably don't know what league play is because people ask me all the time. But it's it's basically 4-on-4. Four four. They do have a 6-on-6, six six, but the real like competitive mode is 4-on-4, is four four, champion series. Uh, and you go in, it ranks you based off how many wins. Like, when you win, it doesn't go by your kill-death ratio. It doesn't go by your score per minute. Uh, and you get put in different divisions. They have iron, bronze, silver, gold, platinum, masters, and then uh, when the actual league play starts December 1st, like the real thing, there was just a trial, they're actually going to have a pro division. Uh, so they have all that. And you go in, and it's basically competitive game types. You know, people are usually in there communicating. Sometimes you get people who leave. That's why I kind of recommend you go as a team. Uh, but, you know, it, it's it's a good way to practice if you, if you plan on playing in any tournaments or uh, just competing with a team. Or, and it's just a good way to play if you don't want to go in and have Randy Bob McDob on your team. <laughs> getting destroyed on hard point pub and you're like oh, i want to win i want to go in and play and win you, you know you can go into that yeah and it's also like we were talking about like us meeting in the middle between competitive and pubs i feel like league play is kind of that middle ground as well because it it's technically a little more competitive because you have the whole ranking system <clears throat> and you have everything unlocked including the kill streaks and etc so you know it's kind of it's basically public matches just with a little competitive edge you're going in with teammates and etc but yeah, I know that uh, they're actually decided to remove some score streaks for like some events, for some future events. I, from what I hear, is that correct? Yeah, they they're getting rid of. Well, actually, for Frag Cup, it's a machine tournament, and I believe UMG. There's not going to be uh, things like UAV and counter UAV and the the Guardian. But for the most part, you know, there's like hunter killer drone, RCXD, uh, all the stuff that you know gets that gets the kills. But UAV was just kind of pointless because everyone was running ghosts, and it just made the game really slow and uh, you know, people want to watch a more fast-paced game because you can run lightweight if you don't have to have that ghost on. Uh, so, you know, was, they, they were getting rid of that. But for the most part, compared to what competitive has been, if you guys have ever followed it, you know, it's been around since Call of Duty 4. Uh, we usually just banned pretty much everything and made it, you know, all the way. It was like the simplest version of Call of Duty. There was no killstreaks at all. 
Uh, and the way we're playing now is completely different. I actually kind of enjoy it. You know, it's actually kind of fun calling, in a, throwing a hundred killer drone in someone's face and like getting a two piece. It's, <laughs> it's actually enjoyable. I was watching a league play match with my buddy yesterday, and he they were playing hard point, and it was like right at the end of the game. It was like thirty seconds left. It was the last hard point, and they were like just about tied. And the enemy, they had two enemies in the hard point, and he threw the hunter drone, just tossed it up in the air, the paper airplane. And it just it got the two piece and like it basically clutched them the game. It was like so epic. So it's a lot of intense moments and stuff like that 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 really doesn't happen in public matches. Like you don't really get, in my opinion, the same form of suspense and like adrenaline that you get from something like that. You know, where it's super close and you just you just really want to win and that's it. So yeah, yeah, it's it's a bit different. But at the same time, like I said, I definitely think there's a lot to be learned from it and kind of crossed over into your public play. Even if you're not, even if you don't think you're ever going to get into league play, I still think that maybe playing it a little bit just to try it can go a long way, you know, in terms of developing you as a player. But yeah, so I don't know. It can't hurt. It's fun. I like, I like playing. I think, I mean, they had the competition proposed in Black Ops 1. Uh, but that was nothing compared to what the the league play system is. Uh, it's definitely a lot of fun when you play team versus team. I always liked back in the day when uh, people in pubs would talk shit and then it would turn it would make the pub competitive. Like I'd actually like really really, really try to win. <laughs> yeah, you just want to win. Kills. That's it. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's something that uh, I think is is kind of lost in the YouTube scene nowadays. The competitive aspect of the gameplay is because basically. I'm gonna be real with you guys. You know, a lot of these gameplays that you see, like hundred pluses, etc. They're against probably trash players, and that's, that's that's just the facts of things. I mean, there are some gameplays that are a little bit more competitive with high scores and etc. But in general, the enemy team usually aren't the best players in the game, so that's just the fact of it. But uh, yeah, so I think this is gonna be interesting. I don't know. Any uh, last words? Just gotta start wrapping it up. I think, I think that's pretty much it. We covered everything. Pretty much it. So, yeah, I just wanted to introduce Sharp to you guys because, like I said, we're going to be doing a series probably weekly, uh, may, possibly a little bit more than that, maybe, you know, every other week or something. We'll figure it out. But anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out his channel. His link will be in the description, and I will put an annotation on it on the top left. So be sure to check it out. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, feel free to le leave a like rating. If you hated it, be sure to dislike it. Leave some info, comments, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.